So between the time you left the car and the time that Judy called you and apprised you of the stereo equipment being missing, you never received any telephone call on your pager? No. Did you ever receive any telephone call or message to Marie that the vehicle was completed? Never. Did you ever ask Marie if there was any messages for you regarding your vehicle? She always leaves. We had a pad by the phone. She always leaves the messages for me. I was waiting for the car. Whose car were you using, by the way? I wasn't. I was taking cabs everywhere. Did you ever check the message pad at Marie's house? Yes, no one left a message. I think you said earlier you called two days before Judy called you to check on the status of the car? Yes. You don't know when the date was that she called? No. But whatever it was, it was two days before? Right. Two days before that, she called me. Two days before she called you, you called and spoke to Judy, and she told you that the vehicle wasn't done yet? Correct. Now, Judy called you whenever it was that she called you. Was it just she and you on the telephone, is that right? Yes. Where did she call you at, by the way? What number? She paged me and I called her back, I believe. She used the pager and you called her back? Yes. Just you and her talked on the telephone? Yes. What did she say to you and what did you say to her? She just told me that the stereo system had been, that someone stole it. Okay. And she had the police down there and she said just to come down. Okay, what did you say? I said I was on my way. <clears throat> did you go down there on the same date that she called you? On the same day. But I got there too late. It was closed. There was no one there. Do you recall what time it was that she called you? Around, I would say, around 2, 3 in the afternoon. And what time did you arrive at the shop? Probably within a couple hours, four, five. And the shop was closed? Yes. <clears throat> Did you see your vehicle outside at that point? I seen it in a fenced lot. Did she tell you how the stereo equipment was found to be missing? No, no. Do you know who discovered the stereo equipment missing? One of the employees, Milton. Miranda? Right. Do you have a brother by the name of Louis Rivera? Louis Rivera, yes. Is Louis L-U-I-S or L-E-W-I-S? L-U-I-S. Did he go to Mako Auto Painting with Milton Miranda on the morning of this incident? I don't know. I know he was there. He was there? He was there with him. I think he dropped him off or something. And your brother's name is Louis Rivera? Louis, yes. Does he live at the same address that you live at? No. Where does he live at? 
I don't know his address. He is in Chicago. It's on Keeler Avenue or something. I don't know the address. Do you know his telephone number? No, I don't. Would you be able to find out that information? I don't think he has a phone at the time. Would you be able, well, does he have one now? No. Would you be able to find out the address? Sure. Would you do that and provide it to your attorney? And I will ask your attorney to provide it to me at the earliest opportunity. You indicated that you believed that Milton Miranda found the stereo equipment missing. Is that right? 